I am a Oklahoma City native. Um, I attended public schools here uh, in Oklahoma City. Uh, I was uh, very fortunate to have a wonder, wonder have a number of wonderful role models, uh, both as as teachers and then as my parents as well. Um, and my mother was a public school teacher in the Putnam City School District, so not in Oklahoma City public schools, mm-hmm. but in the PC district, and uh, she. I uh, never knew anything but hard work. Uh, my earliest memories of her were uh, getting up in the morning. She would get us fed, get us to school. Uh, she would go to school herself. She would come home. She would make our meals. She would clean the dishes. She would grade papers. She would do the laundry. And then I would fall asleep every night listening to her, the sewing machine as she made our clothes. Wow. And so, you know, that was that was her life. And that's where I at the earliest stages began to understand, you know, what goes into the kind of work that she does and, and did for many years, over 30 years. Um, uh, I finished high school here at Northwest Classen, mm-hmm. and then I attended college locally as well uh, at uh, Oklahoma State University, and then was fortunate enough to uh, be accepted into a dual degree program at OU in Oklahoma City, where I pursued both a medical degree and a PhD uh, okay. at the same time over that interval. Wow. And then completed later a residency in obstetrics and gynecology and then did um, subspecialty training in reproductive endocrinology and infertility, where yeah. I became an infertility specialist, and that was at the University of Washington in Seattle. And then uh, when I was done there, um, looked at a number of different opportunities, but was really excited to have the opportunity to come back to OU, um, partially, of course, because I had family here at the time, which was a big draw, but also because I recognized there was an opportunity to build an REI program at OU. Um, those services existed at OU, but they were um, fairly small. I felt that there was a need in the community and was really attracted to uh, have the opportunity to uh, to build something uh, that would include yeah a research program, teaching programs, uh, and clinical care. 